Today's question is from Kavian. Let's hear it. Hi, Tracy. So my 40th birthday is coming up and I'm trying to plan a girl's trip. Since I know how much you enjoy hanging out with your girls, do you have any recommendations of where I could go or what I could do? Kavian, I got you, girl. I'm so excited about this question because I love having fun. And 2022 is all about grabbing onto that joy. When I turned 40, I went to Vegas. And so I don't know if Vegas is in the budget for you or something that you would explore. Because a lot of people were like, Vegas, Tracy, really, at 40? Yes, Vegas. It can either be a shopping vacation, it can be a foodie vacation, it can be a clubbing, dancing vacation, or it can be a gambling vacation. I had all four. So we were partying all night, and then some of us didn't want to party all night, so they would go to sleep and wake up early in the morning to go shopping. All of us had amazing meals. Uh, our meal at, our dinner at Nobu was one of the most notable dinners of my life. Like, it was just incredible food, and it just kept coming. I love the fact that you, at 2 in the morning, could say, actually, let's go walk the strip. Let's go. There's always something happening. So Vegas was like, it's a guaranteed amusement park for grown-ups. And I thought it was a beautiful way to celebrate 40, because at 40, I think the media and the world starts to tell you, oh, you're over the hill, you're getting there, you're, you're getting to that middle age place. But you're in Vegas and it's like arrested development. You feel like, no, 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 this is grade 11 all over again. This is tons of fun. So a great vacation, I think, is uh, Vegas for a girl's trip. We love it. We talk about it to this day. We loved that girl's trip. Um, and I'm just going to give you one other option. Like, if you want to stay home and stay close to home and you're in Canada, rent out a lovely hotel in your area, in your city. I went to the St. Regis for my birthday party um, just a, a month ago, and we danced. We, we, you know, talked about Insecure on HBO and, and went through all the scenarios of how we felt the show should have gone and what we got from it. We did games where we talked about how we felt about each other. It was like everything you would want. We ate, we were deep, we were shallow, we did all the things. And I think the whole point is to just have that time of connection with your girls. It's priceless. So thank you for the question. It brought me joy even to answer that one. And I love when you send me questions. It almost, not quite, but almost makes up for me not having you here in studio with me every day. So if you've got something you want to ask me, send it in. I don't even care what it's about. I'll answer anything. Email submissions at cityline.tv or reach out on social media.